Index Laws Example 3. Now we're going to skip Index Law 3 for a little bit and focus on Index Law 4, just because Index Law 4 is actually quite basic. And in case you've forgotten, Index Law 4 involves anything to the power of 0 equaling 1. For instance, 3 to the power of 0 equals 1, 1000 to the power of 0 also equals 1. And you'll notice quite a few things have a power of 0. So we'll start with question A. You'll notice that s to the power of 0, that is 1. And we have to be a little careful when we look at the next part, because this is 3 times t to the power of 0. Whenever you see a pronumeral and a number next to each other, there's actually times between it. So this is 3 times t to the power of 0. And the reason I've done this is because only the t turns into 1 not the 3. So this becomes 3 times 1 and when you do work this out you'll actually get 4. Okay so that's the answer to question A. We'll look at B now. Once again this is really 3 times u to the power of 0 or 3 times 1. If we look at the second part what you'll notice is that we've actually got a set of brackets and that means that everything inside the brackets has been put to the power of 0, which means that everything turns into 1. And this is the case where this is a case where both the pronual and the coefficient both turn into the number 1. Alright, so for this one, it's actually going to give you the exact same solution of 4.